Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Raph, and they're finally here. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will be coming to us worldwide later this year. The Sinnoh remix finally dropped during the recent Pokemon Presents, and myself and other Sinnoh fans were over the moon. Despite these Generation 4 remakes being revealed, Sinnoh prequel Pokemon Legends Arceus also ended up shocking the world. The old era of Sinnoh focuses on the god of Pokemon, and it's going to be interesting to see how this main series game affects future titles. But what about the anime? We're so used to seeing an anime series coincide with its respective game, and since Pokemon Journeys changed the formula, how are we going to see something like Legends Arceus be implemented? Well I might have an answer for that, alongside a couple of theories that could provide some continuity and the potential return of existing characters. Let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. So not long ago, I made a theory that outlined the possibilities of how recent merchandise and the reveal of Diamond and Pearl remakes could bring back characters such as Dawn, Paul, Brandon, Cynthia, filling the gaps of missing continuity. Weeks later, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were revealed. We also got introduced to Legends Arceus, a Sinnoh prequel. It's still unsure if Dawn will be returning in the Pokemon anime to coincide with these games. We know that there have been characters introduced to promote events that do relate to these games, but seeing as Dawn has returned previously, it's not known if the writers will repeat this. However, I have hoped that maybe she will return, and that's not just thanks to the remakes, but also Legends Arceus. Just before I jump into my theory, please give this video a watch by my bro Nile Kelly. He came up with a really good potential for how these games could link to the Pokemon Journeys anime, and I'll be quoting some of his knowledge in my own video. Show bro bro some love. Now let's jump into the real discussion, alongside explore potential plot points and theories. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. So the common question going around is will Legends Arceus be implemented in the Pokemon anime in the form of an arc or movie? For me personally, I believe it will be an arc. The alternative universe movies aren't really going to complement this game due to the fact they're simply outside of the original universe we're used to. Nile made a good point that should Legends Arceus become a movie, then it would be an outstanding concept to explore the old era of Sinnoh with trainers exploring the Pokemon inhabited alongside without the use of technology. Bro also mentions the topic of time travelling, and to be fair, that would be an interesting factor to see again, seeing as this will be focusing on the alternative universe. A potential spin-off anime for this game could come in hand too similar to Twilight Wings, and I believe those would all make perfect concepts to outline what the game's potential can bring. However, for my theory, I would prefer to see it in the form of a Journey's arc, and here's why, starting off with Dawn. Hikari is a fan favourite in the Pokemon anime. We've seen her return in the Black and White series, and with her prominence shown in the Diamond and Pearl series, it seems a given that she will return in the anime to promote the brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl games, or even Legends Arceus. But now that Legends Arceus has been revealed, I reckon that instead of Dawn returning, we will see a flashback segment. Like the previous continuity aspects shown in the series, I reckon that Ash will encounter an ancestor of Dawn to coincide with the timing, and then provide this missing gap of continuity shown from a flashback. Yes, that's right, I believe it will be time travelling. If we go back in time, no pun intended, to the days of movie 12, we know that Dialga took Ash and the gang back in time to fix the events that happened in the past due to Arceus' rage. I personally would love to see a similar concept like this, especially seeing as it's revolving again around Arceus, and of course, the old era of Sinnoh. Seeing as there is limited to no technology in Legends Arceus, it would be interesting to see how Ash, Go and Chloe experience with no use of their Rotom phones, potentially learning the concept of how the Pokédex was built back in that era. Now we know that the famous galactic logo on the protagonist's outfits could tie into the plot of this arc as well. Analysing the logo on the sleeve, the meaning behind it could mean the word Ginga, which translates into Galaxy. I believe that we could maybe see how an ancestor of Cyrus, or another villain prior to Cyrus himself, wanted to create a new world causing destruction to the land and the Pokemon. It could be a situation in which the ancestor of Dawn travels alongside Dialga and Palkia, who are in need of the trio's help, to not only protect Arceus, but also learn about the current time of Pokemon, and to minimise the real events that were yet to come in the future, these being with Team Galactic. Additional plot could also answer the question about the Professor. We know that the Professor of the region brought the three starters to Sinnoh, and I reckon we may see an ancestor of the supposed Professor, these being from Cynthia. In the games, Cynthia appears in the Yanova region, the Johto region if we count the Arceus event, 
and the Alola region. These are all of the same regions that Cyndaquil, Oshawa and God are from. To top that, we could potentially see some connection with Drayden from Black and White as he mentions that when he was little, Pokeballs didn't exist. Again providing the aspect of how technology back then was non-existent. I reckon Ash, Go and Chloe will go back in time to help the people of Sinnoh overcome a threat that was yet to happen for future events. And these would be canon with the continuity thanks to the events we already know in the Diamond and Pearl series and the Arceus movie. So what about the plot for this arc? Well we know the game will be focusing on the player building the Pokedex, collecting data on Pokemon and of course the god of Pokemon Arceus. However I think there will be a bit of a twist with this one. To coincide with the release of the game, I reckon Ash and the gang will encounter Arceus in its true form being the rainbow form. Relating to my theory from Twitter, the trio will team up with Ancestor Hickory to learn more about the lore of the god of Pokemon. Just like the game, they will learn that Pokemon will not have their natural abilities minimising their potential. This is due to Arceus being under its rainbow form. The rainbow form would be where it's conceived the power of all plates that were formed into one single plate prior to them being spread across Sinnoh and before the multi-type existed. Now you would think that Arceus is a villain in this arc, but due to it conceiving all of the power of every typing, this would cause strain on itself, indicating that it can't be at its full health and power. This is why we later understand that the plates get spread out and Arceus is only limited to using one plate at a time. It would show what happened when Arceus was at its true form before expanding and releasing the plates, allowing the energy from the plates to be planted and shared around Sinnoh, creating the other types of Pokemon and their abilities known in their habitats. Known of its power, the gang are then instructed to collect information about Pokemon under the old era of Team Galactic, to which they are later manipulated to collect the data for Ancestor Cyrus before he prepares to launch his attack to control Arceus to create a better world in the olden era. Seeing as it's a special arc to coincide with the release of the game, I would expect similar events to unfold in the game itself. Ash, Go and Chloe would then have to team up with Ancestor Dawn and her relatives to stop Ancestor Arceus in the current timeline, so that later events can allow Arceus to then spread the plates for future events in Pokemon, allowing the Pokemon to then captivate their natural abilities across their habitats. The arc would follow a four part sequence. Part one would be time traveling back to Sinnoh to learn about what they are in need of help. Part two would be Ancestor Cynthia and Ancestor Cyrus being introduced. Part three would be when the evil plot unfolds. And the final part four would introduce us to Rainbow Arceus saving the day before extracting its energy after its final task to restore the land and save Sinnoh. Now some would say, but why not make this a movie? And yes, it would make a pretty good one depending on the concept, but for the episodic nature journeys is following, and how the climax to the Galar games was already shown being in the form of a Sword and Shield arc, I reckon the writers would continue this direction. We still have other potential arcs that are yet to unfold, such as Ash's Pikachu Master in Gigantamaxine, Chloe's Goal, Ash's Pokemon War Coronation series journey, the Galar trip, and many more. But should Legends Arceus be shown in the form of a Journeys arc, then I would hope that it would unfold like this to not only show continuity to Diamond and Pearl, but also coincide with the release of the game. This is just my theory on it. If Journeys is planning to air until 2023, then I reckon we'll see this arc during the release of the game in 2022. Nothing is confirmed about Generation 9, and seeing as there is so much to explore in Journeys, we can expect the series to continue for an additional couple of years. But why not let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter, and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on the screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.